welcome to Sproutadelic, the Christmas episode just for you. And I'm Mike, and have we got a festive show for you. We've got this. Tim Kid here. We've also got that. <laughs> you gave me some questions to answer this month, so this is my 60 second Q&A. Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm the host of Scoutadelic, and I'm also a crazy mad person because I do scouting. This is my 60 second Q&A. Um, Chris Fletcher says, if you could perform a miracle on Christmas Day, what would it be um, to make all the nasty people in the world really nice for one day? You should have more positivity in life than negativity. Uh, Josh Hoyes asks, what does scouting mean to you? Scouting means to me fun, adventure and silliness. You've got to have all those to, to be part of scouting, I think. Perfidekis, uh, what is your favourite cake? It has got to be chocolate cake, but I am prone to carrot cake, a little bit like uh, Tim Kid. Um, Matt Swain asks, if you were a chief scout for a day, what would the first thing you would do and why? Hmm, I, I don't know. It's quite hard to do something in one day that would impact. I want to do something that would be great. Um, have a silly day, something like that. Because it's Christmas, I don't have a co-host this month, so instead we have someone else to provide us with an amazing scouting skill. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to make an origami Father Christmas, or elf, as this guy, depending on the colour of paper you use. You'll need two pieces of contrasting paper, you need a pen and some sticky glue. Okay, we'll start with the body. Take the larger piece in this case and we just fold a small margin along there. And the same on the opposite side. And turn the piece fold in half and then fold that in to that crease that you've just made and again just into that same crease and bring that down to about there part of that up there next we take another piece another margin along one edge and then on an adjoining edge to the same depth Turn it over. Uh, fold that corner to that corner. Just run your finger along and give you a guide increase when we come to this side. And we bring that in to that crease, up to the point. And the same on the other side. Open it out, just a small fold like that there, and then fold it back, and fold these back in, okay, turn the whole thing over, and we just put a bit of a bend on it like that. Fold up, just along that edge, 
Fold that back down. Same sort of depth as you have there. And then bring it back over. Take your pen. Nice smiley face. Take your glue. Dab of glue on there. And then touch the head. And there you have Father Christmas origami. Christmas is a time for giving. It's also a time for sharing and for being festive. And this year we decided to do the 12 days of Scoutmas with some fantastic prizes from some fantastic people. So thank you for all those that donated prizes to us so that we could distribute them out to some fantastic Scouters. We had hundreds of people enter over the 12 days and these are the lucky winners. So congratulations. Hmm. So on day one was our medium sized hoodie from the amazing people at the scout shop and the winner was Matthew Webb. On day two was the Van Gogh mugs which Lee well you have finally got them congratulations. On our third day Energize Outdoors was providing us with any t-shirt so Bruce Wayne the Batman will be wearing one. Day four was our signed copy of John Hemming Clark's book as well as Tim Pink's latest book and that goes to Pedifikis. Apologies I forgot that pronunciation wrong. On day five was The Jungle Book either on DVD or Blu-ray so Dominic Mayhew you've got that decision to make but congratulations. On the sixth day was The Jungle Book and The Sharpies which will go to Lou Ells. On the seventh day Energize Outdoors gave us a fantastic hoodie um, in any size whatsoever. So Joanne Watson, you'll be wearing a new hoodie in the new year. Congratulations there. Glasgow Scout Shop gave us a fantastic Van Gogh rucksack and that is going to Kevin Horner. The ninth day was our Eye Scout orange hoodie which unfortunately I did have to give up and that goes to Rory Lynn Bradshaw. Congratulations there. On the tenth day, the Monopoly Run guys gave us a team of four people that goes to Josh Love on the 11th day Energize Outdoors gave us a fantastic £50 to spend in their online store so Chris Fletcher you gotta figure out what you're gonna be spending that on and finally on the 12th day was a mysterious gift and with his answer of chocolates it was very poetic may I point out James Clark, congratulations, you've won. So congratulations to all, and thank you again to not only Van Gogh, to the Scout Shop, to Energize Outdoors, to uh, John Hemming Clark, as well as Glasgow Scout Shop, Monopoly Run. You are all fantastic. Thank you very much for helping us out with our prize, and have a great Scout Mus. Ah, uh, so well. So 2016 has been a difficult year for the rest of the world but for scouting it has been another epic adventure and these are just some of the things that has happened in 2016. Cubs celebrated their 100th anniversary, Beavers celebrated their 30th anniversary and Gilmore Reunion celebrated its 90th adventure. Scouts turned 109 and over 570,000 scouts are now in the UK. 25% of those are girls. We said goodbye to Wayne, we said hello to Tim and he also got an OBE. We introduced Steve Backshaw as our Cubs 100 ambassador and the Duchess of Cambridge actually got involved. We've had U-Shape Week, a U-Shape event and U-shape badges. We have seen the Million Hands getting 200,000 people involved. They won the Charity Trust Award and they were also uh, had a nice visit to Downing Street. We have been to 13 prides this year, four of which have been brand new. Scouting was deemed good for your mental health, even though you've got to be a bit crazy to be a part of it. Scout Wales changed its name to Scout Cumbria and Bear Grylls opened the debate of Neckerchief or scarf on Ant and Dex Saturday Night Takeaway. 
The promised path was opened, the, the Scout Memorial project was unveiled, and Scout Network had a total rebrand. Red House Farm created a maze just for Cubs 100, and the UKCC team abseiled down the BP building in London for D of E. Tim Peake returned to Earth, Andy Murray became number one. And we've teamed up with Vodafone for the digital badges, and Gilroy reception has improved, although not for row 2, which I'm actually on. We've had events like Winter Camp, Summer Camp, Monopoly Run, Alternative Monopoly Run, Jamboree on the Trail, uh, which is now in its 19th year. And for Scoutadelic, we have given out 683 badges. We have had almost 675 people get involved around the world. And that is 2016 squashed together. So the Woggle Box this year has gone around the UK asking a simple and very easy question to random scouters. So this time round for Christmas, we decided to ask a very simple question. What do our co-hosts want for 2017? And these are the answers that we got. One thing I want to do in 2017 is try some new camping recipes. And the one thing I want for 2017 is for the adventure to keep continuing. In 2017, I want to have as much fun as I had in 2016. I'd like to congratulate Scout Adelic on a fabulous 2016. It's been a real pleasure to watch all the episodes. And I hope that in 2017, all our fabulous leaders continue to give their time so that we can share these amazing adventures. If I could have one wish for 2017, it would, without a doubt, be that all of my friends have some amazing adventures and people carry on loving scouting. Oh, and more scoutadelic, lots more scoutadelic. The one thing I want for 2017 is to see even more Scouts get involved with social action, whether that's through A Million Hands or the British Youth Council or anything. I'm a cub in 2017. I'm looking forward to more, more cub camps, more cub campfires, and so much more cub badging. I want two things for 2017. Six more Queen Scouts in tendering and to spend more time with Ashley Russell. The one thing I want for 2017 is equality around the world and equal chance of marriage. The one thing I want for 2017 is to go to the US with Scouts. The one thing I want for 2017 is for Scouting to keep growing again for yet another year. Christmas is that time of the year where you decorate, you put Christmas trees and you tell people how much they should have a great holiday season. So this is our version of a Christmas card contained into one. So have a great Christmas from us at Scoutadelic and here are a few other people that want to wish you a Merry Christmas too. Merry Christmas! I'm Casey from Troop 206 in Oakland, California, and I want to wish you a happy holidays. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas and a happy new year! Uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a great 2017. Very, very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas, everybody! Hi, everybody, it's Tim Kidd here, wishing everybody a Scoutadelic Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas! Everyone! Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! My name's Jay, I'm the Deputy Programme Commissioner for Adventure. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas from Twist and Scout. Merry Christmas everyone and a Happy New Year! Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! <laughs> that was just shocking! At Christmas time we love to indulge, so why not? Here 
is a sneaky peek at episode 13. So that's the end of our show. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and give this video a big festive thumbs up. And be creative. Be part of our shows in 2017. And by doing so, you'll get yourself a fantastic Scoutadelic badge. But above all, be a little Scoutadelic and have a great new year. Night. This month we've got this